Welcome back to another Tegarty video. Today we are going to be determining the sales price of the bond based on the information that I gave you for lions and tigers. I like to set up these problems the same every time I do them, so what I like to do is I like to start off with just laying out the framework. So we have a face value of 100000 We have a contract rate. We have a contract rate of 10%. We have an N of 5. And we have, in this case, a market rate of 12% for scenario A. And the thing that we need to remember is, is this bond annual or semi-annual? And this is a semi-annual bond. So we need to make the conversion between semi-annual and annual. So to convert them, because this is semi-annual, we take the rates and we divide by two. So we're actually dealing with a contract rate of 5% for every payment. We times the number of years times two because we're actually making 10 payments. And then we need to also convert the market rate to a semi-annual problem. So these are the rates that we're dealing with. Now let's go ahead and determine that sales price. Remember with bonds we have two streams of payment. We have the present value of a dollar or that one lump sum payment to pay it all off and then we have the present value of an annuity which is all those interest payments. So we're going to need to use two separate tables. On the present value of a dollar table, we're going to look up an N of 10 and an I of 6. We use 6% because the price of the bond is determined by the market. We do the same thing with the present value of the annuity table, but we're going to use a different table. So if you look on the table, you should get a present value of a dollar of 5584 and the present value of an annuity of 7.3601. Well, we know at maturity we're going to have to pay back 100000 But we do need to calculate what our interest payments are going to be. So we're paying interest on 100000 at a contract rate of 5%. That's how much we have to write the payment for by the contract. So this gives us 5,000. If I take 100,000 times 0.5584, I get 55,840,000. ,000. That's the present value of the right to receive 100,000 in 10 payment in 10 payment periods. Okay? Then if I take the 500,000 times the present value of an annuity, I get 36,852. I add the two of those together and I get 92,640.50. That's how much we sold the bond for. So to record the bond issuance, we're going to debit cash for the amount of 92,640.50, or you could round, I don't care either way. You're going to record the bond payable at the face value. We always record the bond payable at the face value. The difference between the two is going to be a discount because we received less than the face value of the bond. And we're going to have a discount of 73,59.50. 7,359.50. Okay? And that's because we're paying less than the market, so we receive less for the bond. If you didn't get this one right, I do suggest you pause the video and try to work through the next problem so that you can check your answer this time. Because on the next problem, we're going to be using a market rate of 6. Okay? So just like the prior problem, I'm going to set up the problem. I'm going to go with a face value of 100,000. I have a contract rate of 10%. I have an N of 5 a market rate of 6, because remember this problem we're dealing with 6, I have to convert all of this to a semi-annual problem. 
I'm actually paying 5% interest per payment. I'm making 10 payments and the market is paying 3% on a semi-annual basis. We need to take the present value of the problem at maturity, how much we're going to pay back. Then we also need to take the present value of all of these interest payments. Remember, we're going to make several interest payments. And we call this a present value of an annuity. Now remember what we said before, we're going to pay back 100000 at maturity and we're going to make some kind of interest payment. So we're going to take the face value times the contract rate to get the interest payment. So, so far, except for the interest rates, the setup's been the same and the interest payment is the same. But now we're going to start getting some different numbers because we're going to go back to that table and it's in your book on page 278. We are going to look at an N of 10 and an I of 3%. This time we're going to get a present value factor of 7441 and on the present value of an annuity table we're going to get a present value and this is on page 281 of 8.5302. 100,000 times 0 0.7441 equals 74,410. 5,000 times 0 0.8502 equals 42,651. You add them together and you have sold the bonds for more than face value. Now why would you do that? Well look, the market is paying three. So that's what everybody else is paying, but we're paying more. So we're going to debit cash for the sales price, which we just determined. We're going to credit bonds payable for the legal value. The difference between the two is going to be a premium because we sold the bonds for more. Okay? So thank you very much, and if you have any questions, please ask those via the discussion board.